Welcome to this longest night service, December 21st. Knowing that on this day, darkness and light stand in equal measure, we come together bringing our own darkness and our own hope, our sorrows, our losses, our looking to the light of Christ and the promise always of God's love and strength. We'll be beginning by lighting the four candles of Advent, the candles of hope, peace, joy, and love. You're invited to light one or four or however many candles bring you light this evening. Let us worship together. We light the candle of hope as we await the source of all hope. May we find hope in the darkness of the night in our times of uncertainty. We light the candle of peace as we await the Prince of Peace, the Comforter. May we find peace in the stillness of the night surrounding our fears. We light the candle of joy as we await the one whose birth was announced with joy and song. May we find joy in the silence of night speaking song to our sorrows. We light the candle of love as we await the one whose love and compassion speaks to all. May we find love in the depths of the night, reaching into the loneliness, filling our emptiness. We, we know, know that, that the, coming the coming of Christ, Christ brings, brings the light which, which shines in, in the darkness, a beacon for all. O radiant dawn, splendor of eternal light and sun of justice, shine on those lost in darkness, come to enlighten us. O radiant dawn, Splendor of eternal light and sun of justice, shine on those lost in darkness. Come to enlighten us. O radiant dawn, splendor of eternal light and sun of justice, Shine on those lost in darkness. Come to enlighten us. A reading of Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your light. The Lord will keep you're going out and you're coming in from this time and forevermore.
Our reading this evening comes to us from the letter of Paul to the Romans, chapter 8, verses 18 through 30. Indeed, I consider the sufferings of the present to be nothing compared with the glory that will be revealed in us. All creation eagerly awaits the revelation of the children of God. Creation was subjected to transience and futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it, in the hope that creation itself would be freed from its slavery to corruption and would come to share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that from the beginning until now, all of creation has been groaning in one great act of giving birth. And not only creation, but all of us who possess the first fruits of the Spirit. We too groan inwardly as we wait for our bodies to be set free. In hope we were saved. But hope is not hope if its object is seen. Why does one hope for what one sees? And hoping for what we cannot see means awaiting it with patient endurance. The Spirit, too, comes to help us in our weakness, for we don't know how to pray as we should, but the Spirit expresses our plea with groanings too deep for words. And God, who knows everything in our hearts, knows perfectly well what the Spirit is saying because their intercessions for God's holy people are made according to the mind of God. We know that God makes everything work together for the good of those who love God and have been called according to God's purpose. They are the ones God chose long ago, predestined to share the image of the only begotten in order that Christ might be the firstborn of many. Those God predestined have likewise been called, those God called have been justified, and those God justified have, in turn, been glorified. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All of creation has been groaning in one great act of giving birth. like to keep my remarks brief on this text this evening because truth told I believe this text speaks for itself in this sense of groaning in our bodies groaning in all of creation us waiting to be set free creation waiting to be set free, creation waiting for the glory of God in Christ Jesus to be revealed 
in us. How fitting it is that this is the lectionary reading for today, the longest night of the year. This sense of hope, this sense of waiting with patient endurance, as Paul says. I mean, there is no denying, dear siblings, that these times are hard. It's hard to wait in patient endurance when we don't know what tomorrow is going to look like. It's hard to wait in patient endurance when there's no building to gather to pray in. It's hard to wait in patient endurance when we don't know what church is going to look like. It's hard to wait in patient endurance when we don't know what the state of the virus what the state of the world is going to be from day to day, much less for any time to come. And yet, God assures us through these words of Paul that God's glory will be revealed. I'm reminded of a quote by one of the most influential theologians in my life, Karl Rahner, who once said something like, in that the imperfect is here, herein lies the sure promise of perfection. These seeds of hope that are planted in our hearts, this seed of the revelation of Christ that is already in us. This is the dawn for which we wait. This is the new creation that we not only groan with in our bodies, but all of creation groans for and with. Amen. darkest night. And let us draw near the end of this service, the end of this time of light and darkness, 
with a shared prayer. And the response for this is, Jesus Christ, Lord of all, stay with us now. Jesus Christ, Lord of all, stay with us now. A shared prayer. Find your way among us. Jesus Christ, Lord of all, stay with us now. Listen to the anxious. Jesus Christ, Lord of all, stay with us now. Sit beside the lonely. Jesus Christ, Lord of all, stay with us now. Contradict the callous. Jesus Christ, Lord of all, stay with us now. Comfort and disturb us. Jesus Christ, Lord of all, stay with us now. Do not ever leave us. Jesus Christ, Lord of all, stay with us now. Even when we doubt you. Jesus Christ, Lord of all, stay with us now. Maker of tomorrow. Jesus Christ, Lord of all, stay with us now. Keep us through the darkness. Keep us through the darkness. Receive this blessing. As we go out into this night, this longest night, may we sense God's light that is in the darkness, God's luminous light that is present in us and around us at all times. May we be that light for ourselves, for each other, and for all of creation. May we go bearing the image of the Christ who has come, the Christ who will come, the Christ for whom we wait. Amen. And a thanks to everyone who helped make this service tonight.